joining us uh, now, Susan Daimler. Zillow President. Susan, great to see you. Thanks so much for, for joining us. I mean, a brief little glimpse there on the data that we, we just ran through. Uh, what does it all imply? Are you getting concerned that pricing is, is getting a bit too frothy? Yeah, um, great to be here. Thanks for having me back. Um, we are not concerned. So a few things. One, the housing market has just been this, I think, incredible bright spot during the pandemic. And we believe that vibrancy is going to continue. And despite what we're hearing today about home sales, there are a couple of things we need to remember that are really important. So one is we are still at record pace here for home sales. And we are on track to beat home sale volume from 2020, which was at a 15 year high. And then in addition, back to the supply and demand piece, we're starting to see these signals of inventory listings creeping back on, which could signal this rebalancing of supply and demand, which would be welcomed. So, so where, what is the outlook on the supply side? Do you think it can catch up in the short term or are we quite a, a long way off that happening? Yeah, I think it will take some time. Um, but I think we're again, we're starting to see those those signals and that buyer demand is still really persistent. Um, we're seeing this great reshuffling, as we call it. People are on the move. They have reasons they need to move. They want to move. They have to move. And so with that compounded by these millennials who are really just getting into their home buying time, we're going to see it keep keep going and that, that balance keep shifting. Specifically, Susan, what are you seeing in the big cities as they have been the last to open up but are now starting to open up? New York, L.A., Chicago. Is, is the migration reversing? Is it coming back in any way that matches what it was before? So it's, it is certainly coming back. Activity is looking really good. Um, New York's a great example of that. Lots of rental activity. Days on market is coming down significantly from, from where we saw it and people are swooping in. So it still looks different than the rest of the country, but as offices start opening, people are expected back at the banks and the law firms. Um, I think we'll continue to see people come back and you know, post-vaccination look for that, that city vibrancy. What, what are the hottest uh, cities that, that really jump out to you at the moment? Um, we're still seeing like these mid market, um, sorry, mid sized market cities. So, like the Columbus, Ohio's, the Cincinnati's, um, even some of the places in the Sun Belt. And what that is, is this real desire to have a metro, but then these suburban rings outside of it. So, people gravitating towards those conveniences of a more urban area, but then still being able to have a yard, a larger house um, that they wouldn't be able to get in a, in a true city like a New York or a San Francisco. Cincinnati is hot, hot, hot. I, I do know about that. Susan, if, if you're not seeing any signs of peak housing, what do you think is going on with your stock, which is down for the year? It's, it's doubled over the past year, but has, has lost some momentum lately. You know, we, we had a great quarter. We did $1.2 billion in, you know, consolidated revenue, and we are founded on innovation and we always have our eyes on the horizon you know we're moving towards this one click nirvana and we just see so much potential we are super bullish you know we're in just a great position to capitalize on this idea of customers coming to us to help them with their move no matter whether they need a loan or they need title or they need to buy or they need to sell they need an agent all of those pieces, we will be able to help them move. And we just feel great about where we are. Do you get uh, in any way nervous when you do see mortgage rates tick up a little bit and, and the outlook for, for rates rising further over the, the, the rest of the year? So, yeah, the mortgage rates, we're still at these record lows. And so there's a lot of room still for them to rise and still be you know, low historically. The other piece that's really important is back to the, the millennials and why are people moving in this great reshuffling? They're moving because they need to and they want to. And then that really outweighs the mortgage rate um, as well. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.